This is my favorite night market I've ever been to in Taiwan. I have no idea what's going on here, so that's what I'm gonna get. If there's anything that has been driving me absolutely nuts in this past year of travel, it is carrying both of these bags. But thankfully, in Taiwan, at least it's easy to travel around. It's not too difficult to figure things out. In some countries, right, like you go somewhere and like it says that it's somewhere, but it's not, right? So this morning I am leaving Paidong. I'm about to catch a little bus here to head to the train station. And I'm gonna be taking about a three hour train to Lodong, which is just south of Yilan. And while I am really kind of sad to be leaving Taidong because I had such a good time cycling yesterday and I would love to do it again, I'm excited though to be going to Lodong because I haven't been there yet. So to see somewhere new in Taiwan. So we made it to Luodong and it's not raining, which is great. Even though in the distance it looks a little bit gray. The hostel though is probably about a 20 minute walk. So I think I'm going to take a bus or a taxi to get there. I have to take back what I said earlier about public transit and traveling around Taiwan being easy because I gotta say when it comes to bus schedules, what I have learned is you have to go to the bus stations themselves and get the schedule or go to the bus stop itself and take a picture because Google is usually pretty right about train times, but it's not with bus times. I did catch the bus to get here and I didn't have enough funds on my card and the bus driver was like, oh, you can load your card like right there. And it was like some random bus company, so it didn't click with me that I could do that because I only usually do it at 7-Eleven. But you know, like rather than just leaving me behind, you know, he waited for me to load it real quick. Then I got on the bus and now I'm on this nice little walking path to my hostel. It's been a while since I've been to a night market this big. So I think I just want to figure out where the food is and go from there. I think the best thing to do when you're overwhelmed at a night market is look for the place with a lot of people in line. And I don't know what I'm going to get, but we're going to get it. I have no idea what's going on here, so that's what I'm going to get. I'm starting up the first night market food with something oily, which is, I mean, that just goes together with Taiwan night markets. Honestly, I don't really know what it is. I just saw so many people, so I was like, of course I have to go. Mmm, the sauce really adds to it. I think it's scallion, and then the wrap that she was using, I think, was dough. Oh my god, delicious. Good call adding the sauce. Looks good. So it seems that this is also something quite popular here. And yes, I am filming on a little red fire truck. Tomato, tofu, onion. I have definitely never had anything like this in Taiwan, so it's probably also a thing that's popular here too. Guys, I haven't had this in so long. It's been years, but I remember I really liked it like this. So hopefully, I like it just as much this time. Mm. That is so good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Like I really think if anybody that comes here is afraid to try stinky tofu, I should eat it like this because I think the way that it's cooked, it's not too strong of a flavor, and then also there's the sweet sauce, so that doesn't make it like too punchy. And then of course the kimchi on top. Little GP Guma. Yeah, we go. But so I know that we can get this at all markets around Taiwan. But chicken butt. Oh my God, I miss chicken butt so much. It's been too long. Mmm. Oh my God. You know, it's got so many textures, which is why I think I like it. There's a little bit of crisp with it. It's soft and chewy. I think this is my favorite night market I've ever been to in Taiwan. This scallion pork burrito wrap caught my eye. I know like a scallion pancake is necessary. Ah! Oh my God, that is so good. Everything at this night market is really, really good. But we have eaten a lot. I am getting full. There's one thing though that I saw that I think will just be the perfect ending to this night market trip.
I think all of my close friends know this, but not anybody like really following my channel knows that I really, really fucking love taro. Mm. Oh my God, that is so good. I loved seeing the taro just sitting there being put right into the blender. This is very uh, fluffy with the milk. Oh my God, it's so good. This market was so beyond my expectations. And I got to try so many things that I haven't had at other night markets before, like just great. Okay, it is a new, day last night i made friends with some girls at the hostel i was staying at and you know how i was talking about how inconvenient it is to get around here one of them had a scooter so she took me to the train station where i was able to drop off my bags in the locker so later i just had to go to the train station and i don't have to worry about carrying or getting my things there oh my god vicky's like such a hero i'm so grateful and today in Dong, i'm going to be renting a bicycle to get around and we're gonna head to a few destinations in the city today Well, you guys, it seems that the rain just can't stay away from me. But we got about a 30 minute bike ride ahead of us to the center of national, like traditional theater arts. I think I've seen that place in like a name we music video before. So we made it after that really beautiful bike ride. Also, did you guys know that sparrows will chase you? I'm pretty sure that's a sparrow. I got chased by these birds and I was so scared. Um, but anyways, we made it and as you can tell, it has begun to rain a little bit, but it's okay. The price is one fifty for a ticket. Okay, so I literally just walked through the door, and my first impression is that it's just like its cute little own world. So I don't know why I got theater arts. I guess it's just traditional art, so that probably includes theater, because I do hear a play going on in the background, and I'm very much reminded of a uh, Jinmen because of the architecture of some of these buildings, which you do see in Taiwan, but these types of buildings are all over Jinmen. been walking around this loop for about the past 30 minutes. I think everybody needs to come here at least once. There's just so many like little shops, so I will say you definitely want to bring money or you don't want to bring a lot of money because you will spend a lot. But all of these little shops have different things such as candies, you can even rent clothes and take pictures around here. Like the main street is just really cute. They are having like demonstrations, live music, there's a theater. I think it's a really good way to get to know a lot about Taiwanese culture. For example, one place I went in had traditional puppets. And it was cool because I have seen people dressed in this like outfits in processions I've seen in like Tainan and Xiaoyocho. And it was cool because I could actually read about the meanings of them, which I've never found out about, but I always admire seeing. So I've decided to stop in a random shop and get some snack. Whoa, it's very soft. And I think it has pomelo peel in it. I thought it was gonna be a little bit crumbly and on the drier side, but it's moist and soft, almost like a thick Play-Doh-y texture. Really good. One thing that's been quite nice is many signs also have English explanations, but in this case we can see there is no English explanation. The Traditional Cultural Center has honestly been way cooler than I expected it to be. I really regret not bringing more money because there are so many cool things that I would love to buy for myself and for my friends. I know there's many opportunities and I'm traveling around Taiwan to buy different things, but it's kind of cool because like you have all of it here from, you know, decorations to food. <laughs> made it to the Lodong Forestry Culture Park and I honestly seem to forget that Taiwan has a huge history in the lumber industry, specifically during the Japanese occupation. But this is just really cool. Oh gosh. Of course there's water on the lens as you guys can tell. It is raining. Let me clean that. Got all those logs there. And then look at these trees. Like oh my god. 
there's a lot of places to visit. We have the shop, and the nature center, exhibition hall. So it's just really nice. You have this really long, cute, like walkway, and then there's this lake here. Having been to Arisan and also Hualien, I visited like a small um, lumber area just outside of Hualien. I guess Hualien isn't too far away from here, but yeah, it's just interesting to be like, oh wow, it was more widespread than I at least thought. Another thing that's quite nice is you also have English on a lot of the signs here. Look at them in their lunch boxes. So cool. So it goes from here, and then we transport them, and then they go up there. And then we have to bring them. What? We're bringing them up by rope? I'm kind of bummed that they're closing now, but it took me a little bit of time to get here and I was really enjoying the traditional arts center as well. I really like visiting here though, even if it was just for a short time. There's grounds that you can just wander around on, look at the lake, and then also the exhibitions are really cool. I think just, it, like it's interesting to realize that like this was a place where people once worked and lived. And now it's just this spot that we can kind of enjoy and you can see the history. Taiwan's history is just like, there's so many layers to it. It's, so I really enjoy these experiences where I just get to keep learning like more and more and understanding this country, you know? So unfortunately, all of the exhibitions are closed at this time, but I think I can still just like walk around out here. So I'm gonna do that in a few hours. I'm gonna catch a bus back to Taipei. I think Lodong would actually be a really good day trip from Taipei. I did not realize it's only an hour away from Taipei. I thought it was further, um, but I came here coming from Taitong. I'm really surprised by what I found here. Like I was just kind of looking at the map and I was like, hmm, that looks like there's some interesting stuff. Let's go. Some of the food I had here was really incredible. I was pleasantly surprised. And the traditional art center was really amazing. This park is really amazing and I really wish I had more time to actually explore the exhibitions a little bit more and really absorb more of the history. I have to come back here, like I really really have to. So it was totally worth coming here. I'm really glad that I just decided like on a whim. Thank you guys so much for watching my Lodong adventure. I just had a really wonderful time and if you haven't been here yet, I really recommend it. And if you're traveling to Taiwan, honestly, I would consider adding this to your list if you have time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace!